Hello, long ready mom. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, so, why do we prep? Well, today, last year, was the first day of our lockdown. Um, I have been prepping for a long time. My, um, I want to say my surrogate mom, I adopted her. She taught me how to prep when I was 18, 19 years old and how to shop and everything like that. So that's what I'm doing today. I got my pot of gold. Um, stimulus check came. So I'm going to get some things that I need for the house and some more prep items. And when I get back, I'll show you what I got. Happy spring. So I'm in the bathroom at Target and normally you have to pay for that stuff. That's awesome. Five hours of shopping. My car is full. Wow, what a mess. I've got so much. I don't know where to begin. There are canned foods, um, sliced peaches. I've got pears, corn, um, sweet condensed milk, beans, uh, refried beans. There's mayonnaise. Oh, that's not supposed to go in there. It's a little solar light. Um, I buy Pop-Tarts for my son. I like to bake. Earl Grey. Chicken broths. Um, I went to Walmart and I got freezer bags, quart size, and um, the big gigantic ones, gallon. I also got Q-tips. Uh, two of those, one for backup, foil, and because I have to travel so far, I had to buy one of these because I left this one at home. This is a Dollar Tree one, and they work great, a um, little bit smaller than this one, which was three bucks. That fits a lot in it, and it is um, very sturdy and reusable. It keeps hot things hot, cold things cold. Um, this one says up to three hours. The other one, um, I think that one's only two hours. Maybe it is three hours. But they work great because I do live an hour away. So driving a long ways, you know, you need something like that. I also got dry milk, some chips because we like nachos and stuff. Don't forget, oh, my husband and some love burritos. I also have marshmallows. Marshmallows. Or s'mores um don't forget to buy these when the power goes out you don't want to do dishes and stuff so i've got one for now and a backup one for later cereal i'm going to uh vacuum seal these in my mylar bags and stuff i've got more milk in there more cereal uh fettuccine noodles crackers and stuff um, that was my haul for this time around. I also went and got some bedding for my son because he just got a new bed and stuff. So we went to Target and a few other places and, and everything. So I took my son shopping with me and he's never really been on a big shopping haul adventure with me. So it, I had, um, quite a good visit with my son um, a learning experience he learned about shopping he learned about um, all the homeless that are now in Eugene and stuff kind of drove him around a little bit and and showed him there are tons of people living in tents tons of people living in RVs and stuff everywhere you go just everywhere you go now and um, taught him some life lessons and stuff about money and stuff like that so you know um, prepping isn't just about prepping it's about learning too so it's good to teach the young um, what you learn and um, hopefully they gain that knowledge and stuff because a lot of them ignore it and stuff they don't believe what's going on or they don't have somebody to teach them 
We may have many different reasons why we prep. Um, may it be landslides, power outages, snowstorms, um, down to a zombie apocalypse or whatever. Um, prepping isn't a bad thing. It's it's prepping for if you lose your job. It's you know it could be for anything. Um, you you never know what's going to happen in the future. So. That's why I prep, and I have always prepped. I always try to shop um, on sales and get things when I need it, get extra things, extra items, um, anything extra you can get. Uh, I, I picked up all kinds of extra items today because I got that extra pot of gold money. So, um, like I said, uh, you know, I'm gonna pay rent ahead. You know, there's so many things that I'm gonna do with that extra money. Um, so there's just a lot you can do. Just be prepared.